Back in June, Mario Lopez was on the Candace Owen Show, where he expressed his opinions about family, friends, and hard work. And I think, you know, during later the conversation, it got a little bit crazier because they were really talking about what they really felt like down to the heart. And he said that he, you know, had a few different opinions on transgender children, how they're being raised, and how that could affect our future. How this is brought up exactly is during the interview, Candace starts talking about all the weird trends that's coming out of Hollywood, one being that where celebrities, they'll have their children go up to them and say, I'm a boy or I'm a girl, and then decide their whole entire gender, you know, opposite of what their gender is, saying that they're transgender, that they feel that they're another gender. There's a celebrity that literally had one of their kids transition at like three years old, five years old, and then there's also someone that, like seven years old. It's a very early age that they have the kids even transitioning. And I think that this is a big problem. I mean, honestly, my own opinion, I'm not going to lie about it. I don't sit at the fence. I think that obviously, number one, one of the biggest problems is with biology, with science. If you're going to be lying about science, I mean, science says that there's male and female. And if you want to go against that, that's fine. I'm not going to tell you what to believe. I'm not going to tell you what lifestyle to live. But based off the of scientific facts, which I believe, I strongly believe in science, not everything with science, but you know, a lot of it, definitely, you know, biology, I am a believer. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. And if you don't want to go with facts and you want to go with your own opinion or your feelings and emotions, fine, I guess. Mario and Candace, they get going on, they get talking about all the Hollywood trends, all the weird ones where, you know, specifically having kids tell you that, oh yeah, I just feel like being another gender and that's okay. Or even in New York where it's okay to just be an ex. You don't even have to be a gender anymore on your birth certificate. You could just be labeled ex. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to, you know, affect our statistics with science and all of those things in the future, but I'm sure that's going to have a very negative impact. But moving forward, we're just going to talk about the children that are forcefully having drugs pushed throughout their system to make it so they can't, you know, reproduce in the future, that they're going to have problems through puberty. That's what Mario is really mad about. And he starts going into it. He really does. Because not only does Candace start bringing it up by all the weird trends in Hollywood, but also you know, that celebrities are okay with this and they're the ones that are supposed to, I wouldn't say be, you know, exact role models, but celebrities, usually you look up to them, you see them in commercials, on TV shows, you see their lifestyle, what they do and their free time and their hobbies, and you kind of, I don't know, maybe you look up to them than you would towards the average person, but then you have these people being, you know, the spoke model of all these woke ideologies that don't make any sense at all. And during all this, Mario decides to just all of a sudden pour his heart out. He stated that, I'm never one to tell anyone how to parent their kids. If you are three years old and you're saying you're feeling a certain way, you think you're a boy or a girl, I just think it's dangerous as a parent to make that, you know, determination. And okay, well, then you're going to be a boy or a girl it just makes sense so yeah i do agree with mario i really do i think that you are either going to be a boy or a girl and it's going to be your decision if you want to decide otherwise in the future that's okay but then you don't really know what your kid's going to want in the future so why force anything upon them another issue that mario mentioned was a response to the interview about kids and choosing their own sexuality at three years old especially with the celebrities and trying to make that a thing towards the public just trying to like you know say that's totally fine i think it's ridiculous okay so you have kids that are doing that but they don't even understand what sexuality is. They can't register that in their minds or they're, they're too young to even have that go on. But people want to say, oh, they understand exactly what's going on. Like, who taught them then? I, for one, 100% agree with him because in the United States, on average, let's say between 6th grade to 12th grade, you people learning about sex education, I would say it a little bit younger would be around like 6th grade because you'd want to learn when you're younger, you want to learn when you're older, so that does make sense. Then again, also you can be taught at an earlier age, I say the earliest would be about 4th grade to 5th grade, okay? Now, why do you have to be this old to understand? Because you have to be mature enough to understand 
the body what's going on if you are three or four years old you're not going to listen you're not going to understand you don't even know colors at that point let's be honest you don't even know every single color and like a crayon box i'm thinking back literally when i was three years old i'm not entirely sure what i was doing when i was three years old i think i was in preschool actually because i started a little bit younger if you know about preschool i think it's about three to four years old when you're in but i was just a little bit younger than four when i started so yeah, I was in preschool, okay? And also during the time, I had an imaginary friend, probably because I was an only child and I was really independent. I was alone all the time, a little bit more shy. So yeah, I developed that. I had an imaginary friend. And I'm not kidding. It's kind of embarrassing, but not really. No, I was a kid. And I mean, what I have to say from that is that if I could have an imaginary friend at the age of three, don't you think it's very possible for a three-year-old to think that possibly if they're, you know, watching something on the television, they watch the wrong thing from the wrong person, honestly, they can think that they're a girl or a boy, they want to be that, just like they want to be a fireman, just like they want to be a veterinarian or astronaut or whatever they want to be. When you have a kid and they see the TV, and they see what's on television, they see what's in the movie, sometimes they want to be that. With being a boy or a girl, I think you should leave it up to your kid, but not let them decide because obviously I think in school nowadays they're teaching a lot about equality. I'm not going to say that it's bad because it's not, okay? I don't think that it's bad necessarily to treat everybody equal, but I think that in ways where they're, you know, teaching certain stuff, it's getting kind of out of hand. Now, look at what's going on with different boys and girls thinking that they need a transition and i i don't actually think that i don't know i don't think that that's like natural i think that's all because of what's being taught in the school systems and that that's having an effect in our real world but really this is kind of the same opinion that candace owens holds and same as mario lopez the same thing that they're talking about and I don't think that Mario should have apologized, unfortunately. You know, my whole entire thing is that you don't apologize to an angry mob, especially the far left. Never apologize to the far left. Never apologize to the people that are whining and complaining about the country right now. They're trying to make it worse for us instead of trying to do something better. The people that complain about Trump every single day and every single night, no they are totally done like literally in the future to me i mean just my future i'm not even gonna be trying to work with those people because i've had it i know i'm young but i've never seen the country in this way or shape in any form if you look back in history look at everything that's happened in this country and i know there's been a lot worse through wars and battles through depression you know, there are people literally starving and going really broke, but you've never seen stuff like Antifa, stuff like we have where you have like this whole entire cultural debate. It's weird. Like you would have people come in all around the world and we'd be getting along, but all of a sudden everybody has a conflict right now. It's, I don't know. It's really weird. It's not how America is supposed to be. America is actually supposed to be one big melting pot of a lot of different cultures but yeah also i wanted to add it's not really cool how the angry mob of the left and hollywood and all these corporations they keep teaming up on even the celebrities first you saw kevin hart and then you saw kanye west even though he kind of had i'd say more of like a fit and he's kind of doing it more for attention that's just my opinion but yeah kanye a little bit more for attention they still had to go after him like so ridiculously that it didn't even make any sense at all and we all saw that then i mean you see all the drama that's going on with everybody that tries to go to the right and it's like why are they creating drama all of a sudden like i never see any drama it's like some conservative goes and all of a sudden they're liberal like you don't see any controversy with that but all of a sudden it's all with Republicans or conservative. Like, we have to vote one way or another. It's weird. You have to vote one way or another. Seriously. And you vote for somebody. Like, it should just be a normal thing. 
I'm tired of all this drama. Think about it, it's actually so stupid. All the drama that's happening with all the companies and then you have stuff of Starbucks and people licking the ice cream and people just protesting Antifa, all of it put together. It's quite interesting because literally at the end of the day, yeah, you just have to vote for somebody. That's all we really have to do. But yeah, I think that Mario, he shouldn't have apologized really because why would you apologize? He's gone through a lot in his career. I mean, he's been a host on Entertainment Tonight. He was like a host on, I think, or Dancing with the Stars. He wasn't a host. He was actually part of Dancing with the Stars. How would I know? Because I watched it with my family because I used to watch Dancing with the Stars. It's fun. Whatever. Watch an episode. Change your mind. <laughs> it's um cool though. But yeah, Mario Lopez. Okay. He is literally everywhere. Everybody knows him. He definitely has a voice in Hollywood. He definitely has a voice in the public. And he I think he used it for the better. When he was on Prager Yo, when he was on Candace Owen's show, he knew that he took a risk. I mean, trust me, anybody that reads the news can tell that he took a risk because as soon as you're on any conservative media outlet and you're like popular like that, they're gonna go after you. So I think that he actually, you know, I will not say intentionally wanted to do this, but he kind of knew what was gonna happen. And I feel like Mario Lopez definitely want to use his voice for the better, which is really cool. I feel like Mario is really familiar with all the controversies that we've been having with a lot of different stuff culturally, right? So, of course, when you're talking about kids, people, they're going to be offended left and right. But the thing is that is it really okay to be pumping drugs into someone and say that they don't really have a choice at the age of three? No, it's not. And he is on the side of that and Hollywood doesn't like that. People on the left don't like that. On the far left, they do not appreciate this at all because it's one of them pretty much going against them. Kind of like Kevin Hart, kind of like Kanye West, like literally it's the exact same thing. Every single time that someone sticks up to them, they get really mad. Every time that a citizen does it, they get really, really mad. And YouTubers, why are they getting censored? Because they're getting mad. On that note, I'm gonna have another video coming very shortly. There's a lot of videos on my channel if you wanna go check them out. And if you wanna support this channel, you can go down below to my bio, to my PayPal, or my Subscribestar, and I'll check you next time.